Right, hey boys and girls, thought we'd do you a, a video to show you everything that's here. Um, it's all going to get listed on the website later this week, possibly next week, and looking at all that lot, probably the week after. But uh, we'll start here and we'll do a walk round. Lister A, spec 16, correct mag. Uh, not touched mo many of these at all yet, so. It'll be a runner, but we've just not got round to it yet. Bamford EG1, uh, correct exhaust, right fuel tank, original handle, Ruston Ormsby 8PB, 3 horsepower, quite a nice trolley, obviously not original to it, but it would suit something quite nice in itself. Coventry Victor Flat Twin. Don't know too much about them. Never had one before. Um, obviously the exhaust were a bit overkill, but the chap wanted to keep it quiet so it suited the neighbours. Stewart H2MR Marine Diesel. Have actually had a battery on that, and that fired up first or second turn. Nice little thing. Hardtop vertical. As you can see, the chap had a bit of a thing for fire extinguishers. Um, this is an Norman T300, I'm assuming it's marine having the throttle linkage on it. Have actually had a bit of a fuel in that, fired that up, that runs sweet. Stuart P4, obviously the wrong way around on the base, um, but that is the earlier one with the cast uh, maker's plate, most likely the correct mag. Another P4, later one with the brass name tag. Uh, again, splash of petrol, that's fired up straight away. Pet Raycorn top. Once again, showing off uh, his exhaust silencers to keep the neighbours quiet. Probably going to take that off and just put a straight pipe on it because it doesn't look very good. That has also got, also got a taco mounted on the trolley. Um, I believe this is a P5 generator. Um, that's had a splash of petrol and been running. Not tried the generator, but going by everything else that the chap had and the level of detail he went to with everything, I should think that'll be fine. Villiers WX, again, that's had a splash of fuel and we've had that fired up. Bernard WO, badged as a tarpon. Uh, 240 volt generator, same again, that's had a splash of fuel, uh, not tried the generator, but that will come before it gets sold. The Manco Eyed Man, quite a late one, uh, water cooled head, yeah, you all know enough about them. Stuart N-Type, which obviously it should have a dynamo on it, but it's actually got a 12 volt starter, it'll come a lot easier than that. As you can see by the oil, we've had that one running. Coventry Victor Flat Twin Marine. Uh, that hasn't actually got a starter motor fitted. Not played with that one yet, but I've got plenty of faith. Three horse apple top. Actually a really good one. Um, been well restored, feels all nice and tight, no loose bearings. A hardy double ram water pump. Nice and light, you can nearly pick that up with one hand. That really is quite nice. I believe they're American. Um, so, kind of suit any small open crank. Uh, let's move on to the trailer. Not nothing too interesting. A little tiny Tim generator. Pet of diesel. Villiers generator. Lovely little Bob Marine engine. Not looked into them too much yet, but I'm guessing that's pretty early going by the... Uh, the mag drive and the water pump on the back. Now to anybody that's into motorbikes, we've got a Vincent Amanda water scooter engine. A um, little bit different. Not my cup of tea, but I'm sure somebody will love it. A small assortment of the vast heap of spares. There's also another van full, uh, which we yet to go through. Jap uh, flexible drive drill. 
there is the flexi driver in the corner of the trailer another little jack two stroke uh, so when we look over here we've got a Lester G in the original cabinet a Woolsey WD8 I believe yeah a really nicely restored Lister D everybody needs one of them if you haven't got one why not Coventry Victor air cooled diesel uh, it doesn't look like it's done very much at all uh, once again been majorly silenced Bamford EG3 was on a trolley until the front axle fell off I don't know if you can see that down there on the trailer on the way home but it didn't roll off the side we saved it 6 or CS don't come much more unmolested and original than that save for the fuel and oil catch tank Commentary Climax uh, I'm assuming that's a fire pump what they used to have in the Green Goddess fire engines minus the pump uh, that will most likely go to some Hillman Imp enthusiasts because they're also the same engine as them Commentary Climax that is a flathead earlier engine in there I'm apparently it's possibly an Austin engine that's got all the lovely bronze pump hanging out the end all complete and original untouched uh, Rustin 2PS compressor starting engine can't say I've had one of them before Crosley 1040 again that's obviously been restored left in the shed won't take much fiddling with to get that going um, there's another little Villiers generator down there we'll move on to the marine engines for a minute we've got a Stuart R3 marine there is an R2 or an R3 generator can't quite see what that is but it's one of the two this is quite an interesting little thing this is a flat twin two stroke a little bit of work on Google says it's a John Ball railway drill. Um, there is a fill tank with it, with a with a hook, which I'm assuming you hung in a, a nearby tree or something like that, and that was for drilling the fish plates and the ends of the rail lengths when uh, they were joining the rails together. Water motor K2. Not had a good one of them in a long time. Uh, lovely little thing lots of bling to be polished up if that's what you're into doesn't look like that will take anything more than a bit of petrol uh, I believe that's a home light generating set fuel tank in the base jobby looks clean and tidy there we got a Norman SC compressor set on a little set of wheels that is a Maxim compressor uh, a couple more marine engines, we've got a Stuart P5, Dynastar, we've had a battery on that and a splash of fuel. I think that's spun over two or three times. That's even got the rip speed gear knob. This is for getting your speedboat up on the plane. We've got a Stuart P55, same scenario, splash of petrol, and away it goes. We'll work away back this way if I can manage it without falling over. Norman T300 Gen set does look a little bit crispy but I'm pretty sure that'll be fine that was under a tarpaulin in the garage um, hence the spiders and cobwebs Bernard W1 that's had a splash of petrol that run absolutely lovely that's, that's almost worth keeping but not quite not my thing Jack 2A gen set uh, battery charging set shall we say we all know what they are a little Villiers, I think that's got a reduction box on the back. Enfield flat twin two stroke, uh, like most of them, that has had a coil, battery and coil conversion. However, I have got the original coil from it, um, and there is an, also another complete engine in better condition in this lot. We'll get there shortly. Villiers Marvel. I'm guessing that is kind of a copy of the trolley what used to be on the hedge cutting and set. Uh, an Albin marine engine, which is single cylinder two stroke, electric start, alternator. 
is what it is. And what we got here, there's a Cushman Cub. Get a better view of that. That has had also a battery and coil conversion for the dead Wyco mag, but that's not too uh, invasive and could be left as it is. Early Ruston Orsby PT. I have had a splash of fuel in that one and had that running. Down there, there's a little Brockhouse two stroke. I believe they were fitted to BMP, BMB homemade tractors. Never actually seen a stationary engine, but yeah. Goodwin water pump. That is just a small one. Uh, looks as though it's got the bronze body at the bottom. Also on a base where the motor would have been, but you won't be needing that if you're putting it with an engine. Another little charging set. Uh, can't quite remember the voltage off that. That is 15 volt, 20 amp. That'll mean something to somebody in the military fraternity. This is a, I was told it was Jowett, but we think it's now Enfield, twin cylinder compressor set. One cylinder engine, one cylinder compressor, uh, and the actual frame of the, the cage itself is the air receiver, hence the tap. <clears throat> Another Enfield flat twin, that one's got the original coils on it. Um, it was obviously the other one that was the one that's in better condition, but that's not too bad. Scammell fire pump engine, that is just the engine, sadly no fire pump. And the plate that says Scammell on it to cover the timing chain. Somebody obviously thought that made better wall out than it did an engine cover. Stewart R2, I believe. Yeah, pumper. Um, correct pump set on the original base. Douglas flat twin generator engine and cage. Minus the generator. Um, but that seems to be all in good order. Not had a play with that yet, but I'm sure it won't take much. Little tarpon gen set. Um, that is 110 volt. Usable if you want a few little bulbs, I'm sure. We've got a Villiers Mag Rustin PB, one and a half horse. Um, again, that's had a splash of fuel. There's nothing too much wrong with that. This little contraption we're not too sure of. That is a Villiers two stroke with electric start and also an Albion gearbox. And they all came together in kind of a lump. So if anybody's got any ideas what machine that came off originally, be interested to know. Um, we've got a Villiers Aerograph compressor set with a WX. Um, not played with that yet, but despite my hatred for Villiers two strokes, this one looks pretty good. <clears throat> Down here, we've got is that a Villiers midget that's been made into a small generating set? And then finally, although that's not part of this lot, it might as well be included in the video. We've got an early Lister auto truck with the Jap side valve in it. Um, that's all been rebuilt and put back together and that is just waiting for a mag and the mag sprocket which happens to be 10 tooth if anybody's got one of them kicking about be interested to hear from you <clears throat> so thank you very much for listening have a look through if there's anything you want please don't jump on the phone and try and get hold of me because the phone's going mental I'm going to slowly add them to the website and possibly eBay over the next two or three weeks uh, I've already took out of it what I want, and we'll see what happens. It's a bit of something for everybody.